Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I fixed that little glitch. <laughs> I found out what I did. I uploaded the same video twice. And the second one was supposed to be the one about the luciferase and the micro dot, um, micro needle, quantum dot, injection of the mark of the beast. Okay, so I fixed it. All right. Uh, this I found in my email in the letter from Dawn. There are two prophecies of people that I've seen Victoria Ang on here before, but not Cassandra B. I'll do hers first as it's listed first. Um, Okay, I, yeah, I was going to go ahead and do the first one. It's short, though. Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. When change becomes the new normal, you know, we've been hearing that, the new normal, you may have to adapt in your routine or the way you do things externally. But spiritually, you can count on me. I am your solid foundation, which is unchanging and immovable. Your faith is absolute and resolute, and you will stand strong in the face of adversity. Hebrews, she put this verse under it. Hebrews 13.8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that is the truth. And don't you forget it. If he could help Moses and the millions of Hebrews cross the Red Sea on dry land, don't you think he can do it again? I don't think he's run out of power, people. In fact, I know he hasn't. All it takes is your faith. All right. So if you need more faith, ask the Lord for an extra measure of faith. There's a verse about that. You can ask for him to strengthen your faith. Now, this one's called the time of the Exodus. <laughs> How about that? I that I use that as an example, and I read this earlier, but forgot that it was called that. All right, this one was put up October, or re received, I guess you'd say, October 2nd, 2020, at 1 13 p.m., and it was given to Cassandra B. At 12 o'clock noon today, I heard, okay, so she must have wrote it at 1.13 p.m.? I don't know. But it says, at 12 o'clock noon today, I heard, I am leading my people out of this system, the Babylon system. The system will crumble and I will lead my people out. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her plagues. This is the final call. So he's not saying he's, he's t leading all people called Christians out. He's saying he's leading my people out. Those who love him, serve him, do their best to live right and repent when they mess up. You forgive others. You live by the word of God. You can't live by the word of God if you don't know the word of God. You're running out of time. So get on your face and pray and ask him, if you can, that is. However, you have to pray 
and you ask him, what, is there anything I haven't asked for forgiveness for? Anything I need to deal with? Is there anyone I have not forgiven? And if you have to, and it's feasible, call the person and ask for their forgiveness. Not always can you. Like if it's an ex and they were abusive and you need to forgive them. It might not be a smart idea to call them, but you can forgive them in your heart, okay? The Lord will tell you, all right, so he's leading his people out of the Babylonian system because it's going to crumble. Okay, so if it's going to crumble, where is he going to lead us? The first fruits are going to be taken outside of time and ter and given their glorified bodies. Now, some people have been shown that we're going to, like, the Garden of Eden, where it was, turned back into the Garden. Others have shown, we're, like myself, we're going straight to heaven. So maybe part do. Maybe the bride goes up to heaven and everyone else goes to, to wherever here on earth but still they get a glorified body and their armor and they're going to fight I don't know does it matter I personally don't care I just want to get this show on the road and start kicking some demon butt to the curb don't you amen hallelujah kicking the demons out of people that's making them sin it's making them mean or uh, just whatever they're doing wrong. It's keeping them from being totally with Jesus. Now, this one is called, It's Coming! Exclamation mark. September 30th, 2020, 9.39 a.m. by Victoria Ang. Given to Victoria Ang. This morning, I heard the Lord say, It's coming. My glory shall fall upon you. Those that have withstood the test of time and remained faithful will reap a bountiful harvest. Um, okay, that was September 30th. Now, this one she called... Oh, this is another person. Fierce Love received October 1st, 2020 at 1233 p.m. And the person just puts their name as J. Hi there. I received this word... I wrote it down. Information received August 28th, 2020 at 6 p.m. Okay, so it must have been submitted to dawn, October 1st, 1233. This fierce love, this great knowledge, every person, every hair on every head, Every tear out of every eye, every sparrow that ever fell, I see. I know there is nothing that I do not know. What do you want to know? Ask me, for I am knowledge. Who is your defender? Who fights every battle? Who goes before you? Who is with you? Who carries you? Who goes after you? Who chases you? Who will not let who will not let go? Who will not give up? Who has the victory? Who has every victory? 
I just got to stop here for a moment and say, um, it's signed Yahushua. The Lord is only going to chase you just so far. I know he's been chasing me. And he caught me. Um, who chases you? Who will not let go? Who will not give up? I can say that for myself. Maybe because I've always prayed and I've always loved him. I've always tried to do the right thing. Even though I was, you know, I had multiple marriages and dating in between and things I shouldn't have been doing. But if you turn your back on him, I mean turn from him and run from him, I do not believe he will chase you. He will let you go. So I guess it depends on the circumstance. He may chase you for a while. Especially depending on why you turn from him. Alright, so where was I? Who is with you? Who carries you? Who goes after you? Who chases you? Who will not let go? Who will not give up? Who has the victory? Who has every victory? Do you know what glory is? It is through my blood. Repent and be cleansed. There's the word I was looking for. We must repent and be cleansed to get back right when we've run away. Who knows your tomorrow? No, I'm sorry. My sword is like none other. My hand has saved you. When you didn't know it, I was with you when you did not acknowledge me. I knew you before you were ever, before you ever were. I was waiting for you. So great was my longing to bring you forth. How I rejoice over you. Stand on my word, Yahushua. So that, that is, um, that is a good word. Oh, how I long to be with Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over this particular video. And over each and every one of you and myself and all our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.